let's go ahead and work on the setting temperature zones. And again, temperature zone will directly related to the altitude. So the higher altitude, the lower temperature, the lower altitude, higher temperature. But they're not necessarily will go with the peak. So in some cases, temperature fluctuated. So in this case, we can say uh, we have an altitude generator and we actually can go probably from erosion we don't necessarily need a snow in this case but what we need to do it's creating a blur and the reason is why okay let's go select the blur effect right here okay we'll go take from this connecting because this is will be for us it's where temperature the higher will be um or whiter or black blue whatever we can create colors just imagine this is will be lower temperature and other ones is higher so in some cases okay let's go look on a blur we can actually set a little bit not too much but maybe around right here that will correspond to this uh, we could connect also change the temperature as well and allow this to modify this we can do by adjusting values again clipping or shifting depend how we're going to do that and one way it's if we're going to um, use base gain right here and let's connecting so in this case if we monitor okay, like let's actually open preview in this area and you can see by modifying both of them we can increase okay uh, let me grab this one we can increase those areas okay and gain as well how wide does area spread so we can actually take gain lower and increase our base in this case we have it a little bit more distinguished between temperatures so th this is the sharper temperature will be changing from this and if we need it a little bit smaller temperature change actually can apply in this case again the highest one it will be colder and it's warmer so we have a big difference okay let's set also a little bit like radius more so right here is our representation um again the if you assign them into your map into the um, world map then you cannot sign in a game what is that value will represent specifically okay so let's do one more um here and we have it if you remember this is kind of representation of the temperature we did before but um it's not necessarily will work for us very well however i want to keep it the sharp point as well we have a high temperature so let's just reconnect for now this point and you can see it's not necessarily will work so we'll go back to our selecting okay here and instead we'll connect right to this point Okay, so at this point we have our temperature, we have our height, we have our wetness, a map of restrictions, and water map. So we'll have it all of those maps applied ready for the games. We also, as a generating, we can create a deposit, depositing man, uh, map deposition, and we can also have it wear map but this is mostly for the coloring if you want to apply additional texturing to your terrain so let's go ahead and create output for us so now i'm going to create one high output um we'll go to create tff 16 bit and i'm going to write this okay as a height map 
Let's click OK. And I want copy, paste, 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 paste. OK. So next we'll just go connect. OK, this is our apps height map going from here directly so this is our height map and we'll just connect from this connect our height map okay i'll just move this away next let's go to work our color is there this is to preview so we don't really care this um deposition okay and this is our restriction map. Okay, we'll just put that away. Okay, there is a restriction. It's our wetness, so we'll go from this point. Actually, it is um, probably plants wetness. Okay. here okay this is our water water level okay in some case we actually can probably just delete those ones I'll leave it this. So just for the preview point. So we'll leave it here. Okay, and this one is our temperature one. Okay. We have a two more and one I actually just want wear map. Temperature, just want to be sure all name is like this one set. And this is a water level. Actually, it will be about a shape. Okay, and we have it the position. Okay, I think that is all we're going to do. It is um, go ahead and render every node. Okay, let's go click OK. And now we're ready to export, so we'll go ahead and export all of this terrain. Okay, let's click OK. And some connection is not, so we check high TF TFF, so let's go check that one. Okay, so I found it was somewhere, was kind of funny sitting, okay. So all of this done. Let's go ahead and uh, another applications and we can look how we can use it, those maps that we just exported.